on Whiteout 2018. The kick is returnable. Hamler at the three. And the Buckeye kickoff coverage team is not wearing 24, wearing number eight to honor injured tailback Mark Allen tonight. He's had a tremendous start for the season. They fake it to him. McSorley throws a slant on first down. And there is K.J. Hamler. The town and one call to make him. McSorley from the pocket to a wide open. Brandon Polk. And Polk was left alone on that far side. He's sure. And there's the back end, the linebackers in the secondary. They'll be tested tonight, especially in one-on-one -on -one opportunities because they play so much man-to-man. -man. An aggressive approach in taking the football first and a 20-yard gain puts the Lions at midfield. And now Sanders on a direct snap. This is a wrinkle. He has spun around and sorely. So I think you're going to see him throw the ball a lot to that slot receiver. Yeah. Number two is Tommy Stevens, Kirk. He's the backup quarterback. He's been injured for the first three games. He's healthy now. Had a foot injury. He can see if the Buckeyes bring some pressure. McSorley is such a dangerous scrambler on third down. Motion Sanders back in. They rush four. And McSorley rolls away and cannot. Escape for long does a great job diving near the 40 look for Sherwick. He was going to be stopped short. He got fourth and two Franklin making an aggressive statement if in fact they do run a play And now Ohio State will spend a timeout Trying to maybe keep the Buckeyes guessing until the last second and then be shocked if he doesn't go left here with the defensive alignment. A couple attempts to get the defense to jump off haven't worked. And they run the play. And McSorley gives it to Sanders who muscles near the marker. The spot is crucial. It's right at the 40. After effort to get the yards. Stevens back in the game to the left of McSorley. Aggressive approach and an early gamble pays off. And plenty of wrinkles already from this Penn State offense. This is Stevens, and the backup quarterback shows that powerful. And this McSorley fakes, and they're swarming him all over the quarterback, dropping for a yard loss. That was poorly. So now third and nine, six consecutive runs after two completed passes to start the game. Sanders was in the slot, now motions back. Buckeyes bring pressure. They pick it up, and McSorley delivers incomplete over the middle, trying to get the ball to Jawan Johnson, and it's fourth down. A man from Georgia hits a short one, very short, and it's going to go out of bounds, so not what Penn State was looking for. They don't pin the Buckeyes deep. For his offensive line. Rolls out and delivers again a throw that's been so often successful in the first four games. Austin Mack gets track to take some of the pressure off the pass protection. Play action fake and incomplete as dropping it was Paris Campbell. That's a penalty on Ohio State there. It was a problem two years ago. Four false starts on this offensive line. Well, that's the challenge. I mean, you talk about the wideout. Besides looking really cool for our cameras, I mean, the big <laughs> thing is the crowd noise Four and affecting... Offense. Number 59. I got a penalty. No, he got 1,001 and then the snap. Haskins pats the ball. Not known for his scrambling ability. Gets five yards back to the... Lions bring pressure. It's a screen. Campbell in traffic is going to be stopped right there, short of the first down by Sharif Miller. You've seen the crowd already play a part with that five-yard penalty to really stall their momentum. So Drew Christman to punt. DeAndre Tompkins for Penn State standing at the 20. A deliberate delivery from Christman. A high kick. Fair caught back at the 22-yard line. Penn State... And see if they begin to take downfield shots. They, they know they have to win those one-on-one -on -one battles on the edge of the passing game. And I know they came into this game as a running team. There is Sanders knocked down. Fuller 
is the leader in the back end of that Ohio State secondary. Again, Sanders wearing number eight, not his 24. Should be inspired tonight, representing Allen. And there's a high throw in the far sideline and a nice catch made. That's Pat Fryer. And now McSorley on the keeper. Darts up the middle, breaks the tackle, cuts back, and bulldozes the defender into Buckeye territory. Ran over Jordan Fulton. So Penn State, two possessions twice into Ohio State territory. McSorley steps up first. Downfield shot, shot ball, and Jackson goes up and makes a spectacular one-handed catch. The contender for catch of the year, Odell Beckham style. Stevens in the game. The pro Look out for the double pass. He fumbles that backward pass and has to fall on it way back at the 30. So. Didn't I think sharp on that I play. I think there he just got anxious. He peeked ahead. He had an open man downfield if he caught it. Lost 13, so second and 23. It's a sideline route. Again, it's Johnson. They get some of the yards. Back. To him as a leader of those wide receivers. He's making plays like that. That's a great way to show that leadership. But then disastrous loss on first down. He sets up a third and 16. It's a short sideline round, and that's Johnson again making the catch. He's far short of the marker. This from 34 yards. I think the true freshman's heart is pounding right now. And it's up, and just got it inside the upright. Now State. And the ball is hammered through the end zone. Ohio State will take over at the 20. With the lead now, this crowd has even more energy. It's Weber in the game as a tailback, and they flip it in the side to uh, K.J. Hill. And the Lions rally to tackle him for a two-year game. We'll see how that plays out. Well, the Lions swarm. It's a blitz, and they knock Weber down at the line of scrimmage. Third and seven. This is where you wonder about the offensive tackles not being able to hear that snap count. They're going off the center's head, the lineman. Empty backfield. Haskins gets good protection, but it's incomplete. Tried to find Hill on a slant. John Reed defending. Already the environment playing a role, having the desired effect on this Ohio State offense that had been humming coming in here. Chrisman again. Another high, deep boot. And Tompkins, no fair catch. Hammered immediately. So that is excellent execution. Everybody remembers it when they come out here. McSorley looking to throw on first down. Now he'll scramble. All kinds of green grass in front of the quarterback. McSorley still motoring. Deep into Ohio State territory. Career long 51-yard run for McSorley. Sanders stopped behind. Penn State again in Ohio State territory. And Sanders shows the leg strength that he... He's better be, you better have him in your mind as far as creating, improvising, and, and potentially scrambling for first down yards. They haven't converted yet. 0 for 3. And McSorley is going to be trapped and sacked. Short loss. Chase Young got him six yards. Steps into it and drives it, but misses. Hooked it wide left. So Penn State has hurts for Ohio State, but still down only three. Approaching the end of the first quarter. Dobbins running wide, chased, and dropped for a loss as that Penn State defender told you in the open he's a guy to look out for, and by that time he was chasing down J.K. Dobbins. Second and 13, they bring pressure again. Haskins gets it out, almost intercepted. He threw it behind. Empty backfield again. And Penn State showing pressure up the middle. Play clock counting down. Haskins got to hurry. Just gets it off. Pressure comes. He gets it out. Catch made. Nowhere near the first down yardage is Austin Mack. He's with the way they played here in this first quarter. Total yards 155 to 27 for Penn State. But just the one field goal to show for that dominance. Michigan came in here. They got overwhelmed by the Lions on a whiteout night. Chrisman, another deep boot. The Tompkins, kind of a risky catch back at the 15th. Penn State. Six of seven. And some big runs. He's got it again. Darts up the middle. 
and gets four on first down. Three or four yards like that. Play action, they pitch it far side, losing his footing over there was Hamler. As he Neither side has converted on third down yet. Penn State did get the fourth down conversion. He needs six here. And McSorley scampers free and delivers incomplete. Penn State crowd wanted a flag against Sean Wade, but the freshman got a Jacksonville. TCU really tried to test him, and he was up to it that night. So now we'll see Blake Gilligan. And a terrible point his first time. This one is a little bit better, but a sideways bounce. And in the punting department, Chrisman getting the better. He be able to get their running game on track at all. The only three running plays so far, period. And they do hand off on Q. Weber, a nice gain. He gets near first down yardage. Tom? Replace starting next week. That's how loud they tried to play it. You still can't simulate it, Chris. I'll tell you that from down here. It's no fun in practice, I'll tell you that. Haskins from the pocket delivers. Deflected and intercepted. Picked off there by Taylor. And Garrett Taylor has a convoy. Can they chase him down from behind? They do at the 30. Just the second pick this year for Haskins. There are multiple fouls on both teams for unsportsmanlike conduct. At the end of the play, those fouls will all offset. Number 59 on Ohio State. Number 9 on Ohio State. Number 7 on Ohio State. Number 48 on Penn State. That is the first unsportsmanlike conduct foul on all of those players. First down. Next one will cause them an ejection. Let's say Dan Capron had some busy housekeeping. A 45-yard return, and Johnny Dixon, good job chasing him down. Haskins gets tied up with Sharif Miller, who incidentally, these two, through social media today, had some words. Sharif Miller came out and said, yeah, I have some guys that have played. Quarterback Stevens is in the slot. Now he'll motion back. And he'll take it to yeah, that running game. It's that sticks on second and 13. There's Jones. McSorley has time and delivers downfield but way over the head of Hamler. Not close. Ball uh, from the pocket as opposed to running around improvising. They're not really in field goal range here. And now Sanders motions back in. Direct snap. They fake it to McSorley. Can Sanders make a miss? Slips as he tries to cut toward the marker. That cost him a chance at from 46. This from 39. And this one is up and good. He has a natural hook to his kick, so the right half should treat him well. Good defense. 38 so far. And the kickoff by Cheka into the end zone. Back to Cassidy Hubbard. Down six to nothing, so. Dobbins cuts it back and follows the blocker into traffic. And drop 66. Dobbins has it again, and he hammers for a short gain. It'll be third and about... ...has Penn State stopped an opponent third and two or less. And Ohio State's been perfect this season converting these. And they still are, as J.K. hammers for a first down. Middle. And so far, no problem with the snaps and all this noise. Remember, we had a bunch of low snaps against TCU. That time, Penn State converges, and it takes every... The play just didn't have a chance because of the... Quickness of Shelton. He's a bigger guy than their starters at 310 pounds. Haskins slings it and misfires. Look for McClure on a rare inact. And St. Rush is four. Haskins flushed, chased, and delivers incomplete. That's the book on Haskins. If you can flush him out, get in his face, the accuracy comes down as best he can. But it's been busy for the Ohio State punter so far. State is a flag on the punt and no fair catch. Tompkins is surrounded by Buckeyes and dropped inside the 15. Kicking team had five men in the backfield. That five yard penalty will be assessed at the succeeding spot. First down. Pretty high on him. So he's off to a good start. And McSorley looking to throw on first down. It's low. Hamler could not come back to get it. 
slants a big part of this attack. So are downfield shots. They have the one to Johnson so far. And McSorley under pressure is going to be swarmed and sacked back at the 12. Chase Young who needs that. So Ohio State defense beginning to impose itself. Third and 17. And State pinned back. And McSorley flips it incomplete. That was thrown behind Johnson. It makes the circus tough catch. Jim's had a tough night punting for Penn State. The only career block came last year in Columbus. K.J. Hill could have had a return, chose to a fair catch. Haven't allowed more than seven points the last three games combined, but tonight a fast start for that unit. Weber able to bounce out of a tackle and spin for a short gain. The concern was, would they be... Haskins flips it incomplete. Weber was well, well covered there by Gross Matos. Empty backfield on third and eight. Haskins tries to escape, and he is not going to be able to. Not very speedy when he gets that veteran group last year when you knew what they were going to deliver week in, week out. It's been a work in progress. They've made huge progress so far tonight. But Chrisman just continues to boom punts. You can't do it better than that. You cannot do it better than Chrisman has so far in this first half. Kept him in of the shotgun as Chrisman has pinned them deep. And they have struggled in recent series. McSorley from the end zone delivers incomplete. It was low. They're really trying to... Especially with those offensive linemen trying to make blocks in the end zone. If they're holding to safety. McSorley, who's 0 for his last five, gets it to Sanders who just could... Down. 0 for 7 on third down. It's like Malik Harrison across from McSorley could spy on him in case of the scramble. You see number 39 right over the center. He's kind of showing blitz, but he could back out of that. Play clock winding down. McSorley from the goal line. Slam. And there's Hamler, the speedy freshman. They'll never catch him. K.J. Hamler, touchdown! Welcome to college football! They have dominated statistically, but slogged to just a couple of field goals, and suddenly lightning strike get cranked up. Check up. Forget about it. It's going to be many kick returns. I like his <laughs> roar, man. I thought he brought it home. Well, the roar is louder than ever now. Haskins, they roll him out, and that's just airmailed into the bench. Wow. <laughs> so mom took over as the head MC. Dad's the hype man. This crowd is hyped, and Haskins just trying to get some footing. Slings it to Campbell. Getting after Dwayne Haskins. Buckeyes, one of six on third. They need three. Pressure comes. Incomplete. They are just accelerating his decision-making process. First time all year you've seen Ohio State's new powerful offense having these issues. Brisman's boot gives Hamler a chance from the 19. He is so quick and so elusive. And Hold up the confidence, and then we get into conference <laughs> play. We'll, we'll tough it out. Oh, stop smack talking. <laughs> so McSorley back to work. Downfield shot. Oh! Almost a great catch by Sam. Freaky athlete, a linebacker, but Penn State's trying to target him in coverage. McSorley keeps it, has to duck under and fight for a short. Yeah, that was their first conversion all night. They need seven here. McSorley is flushed and fires low and incomplete. Not an accurate throw. Tried to get it to Matt Hippenhammer. Gilligan. Short punt, bounces, and it's fielded on the bounce by Hill at the 25-yard line. Campbell joining Weber and Haskins in the backfield here. And Weber's got it, and he's going to be chased down. That's a nice play by Campbell. Out on the edge with Dobbins or Weber. And now Weber, or excuse me, Campbell gets the handoff, and he's hammered. That's a wrinkle and electric in here. Third and seven. Haskins flushed. Flag comes out, dumps it off to Weber, who's tackled short of a first down. Penn State signaling a hold. Yeah. Offense, number 59. That penalty is declined, and it brings up fourth down. Balls. Dwayne Haskins not throwing good balls. It's 
It's a group effort here. Punt for Christman already, and DeAndre Hopkins is the return man. And another good boot, and a fair catch made at the 25-yard line. Did they rough him? A flat into no the punter. Got a good spot for Sanders hasn't yet broken free in a long run. He feed it to him again. You felt this was just not going to be a successful tactic. There's a scrum for the ball. Did it come out? Tough Borland is down there in the bottom of the pile. The ball came out early. Right at the exchange. Tough Borland looked like he hit him. Looks like Draymond Jones is at the bottom of the pile with the ball. They're still discussing. Yeah, I think Tough Borland knocked that ball out. It is a turnover. The first for Penn State. Now watch his arm, tough boy. That ball right away came out. I don't think very many of the players knew that it was down. You can see Robert Landers goes for it. It's just, it's just sitting there. Eventually, Draymond Jones picks it up. Smothered. Chance to win one on one. Penn State shows pressure again. Haskins backpedals and flips. Dobbins on a screen. Has blockers. Dobbins in the clear. In the end zone. Tried a couple of these uh, screens earlier. This time he had more time to bait them, kind of lure them towards him, and then flip the ball over the defense into J.K. Dobbins' hand. Makes the big play and knock the ball loose. Nuremberger has been perfect on extra points. Remains so. With a minute 50, they do have three timeouts when they know that Ohio State will get the football to begin the second half. Humble's kickoff will be taken by Hamler at the two. And KJ knocked down to 45. They gotta be thinking about trying to get points here. Surly, 8 of 16. Looking to throw on first down and delivers complete right at the first down marker. That's Johnson that made the... He's able to work through that big physical body at 6'4", 225. And McSorley took a brief look downfield and takes off running and dived for 8 yards. So Penn State, a good start. Rushing yards from McSorley had 51 on that career-long run in the first quarter. Now delivers to Johnson again. It's a short gain out to the 40. May look to spend the first now, 53 and counting. Buckeyes show pressure, and McSorley is flushed and just fires it into the ground. God, he's lined up here as a right defensive end. It's hard work chasing down McSorley. You saw Jonathan Cooper, a starter, getting some rest on the sidelines. Second and 10. They have the timeout so they can run the ball, and Sanders just plows behind the blocker, gets to midfield, and now with 36, Franklin Wilson. I mean, this is one of those games in August you pointed to as one of the biggest games in the country. It's a third and two play, and McSorley running and being hit. He's going to be marked short, so it's fourth down. And you look at him, one of the co-captains on this Penn State team delivers a high punt. And Hill makes the fair catch at the 12s. And Ohio State will feel extremely fortunate to be down just six at the break. The 13 points to speak for. Let's get Urban Meyer's reaction to this first half. Tom Rinaldi standing by. Chris here for both their offenses in the second half. An almost three to one edge in yardage for Penn State. Ohio State held to 93. And they'll start from the 25 after another. Get the run game going. They expected to be able to run the ball much better than this. Dobbins tries to get the edge. Just cut back in a nice first down game. To Tom Renault. And yet we're still down only a score. We're going to build on the momentum and have this opening possession do something. Campbell on the screen. Breaks free. Paris Campbell very deep. Losing the battle at the line of scrimmage. Haskins on first down, look downfield, now throws short to Campbell, who slips the tackle again and is knocked down near midfield. He attempted one pass over 10 yards or more through the air, just one in that first half, everything underneath. Dobbins 
Second effort gets about three. So many of his tape. And yep, it's one after another. They hit the receiver right on the money, right in the stride. Is this a deep shot? Haskins looking, firing to Matt over his head. He was well covered. They have pressured him frequently. And again, taking that soft cushion. That's a catch by Benjamin Victor. A touchdown after getting the ball in positive territory. It's the best looking drive they've had all night. And on third and two, Dobbins plows. He's near the marker. And they're going to walk in and place the ball. About trying to get it to J.K. Dobbins more than likely. He's lined up seven yards behind the line of scrimmage. Dobbins gets it, and he is stopped and will not make it. Jan Johnson, the linebacker, filled, and Penn State's defense. Let's wait for the spot here. Now they're giving the spot a little bit farther than I thought they were going to. So hold up. Got the ball uh, it, at that yellow line. It's a pretty good spot by the line judge. If he doesn't make with the ball, luckily, in his left arm for him. Three first downs on the drive, four in the entire first half. And there is a keeper by Haskins. It's rare. Ball came out. He gets it back. Five. This is the tougher, noisier end of Beaver Stadium for visitors. Dobbins. Runs back and squirts for another first. Haskins pitches far side. Hill has blocks on the edge and is out near the 15. 12th play of this drive to start the third quarter. They moved at 59 yards. Haskins, one-handed grab, Hill cuts it back and knocked down inside the five by Brown. What a catch. They've been very efficient down here in the first four games. A bobbled snap, but Dobbins doesn't matter. Scores standing up. Two touchdowns for J.K. Dobbins. And the Buckeyes, a P.A. Somehow Dobbins is able to get that push up front and into the end zone. Nuremberger for the lead. The blocking was so good, it didn't matter that the snap on the hand of 438 to do it. How about Haskins, Dobbins, and company in the first half? 30 plays, only 93 yards, and they go for 75 and had a first drive. Here's Hamler, who scored Penn State's only touchdown, tries to make a play on kick return, and a flag comes out as he's knocked down at the 20. It's the Big Ten. There are two fouls on the play. Holding by the receiving team, number 14. That foul is assessed half the distance to the goal. After the play was over, personal foul. On the kicking team, number seven. That foul is assessed 15 yards, first down Penn State. The boss man does run the special teams at Ohio State. All of a sudden, a very different feel to this game. And Sanders has yet to get going, tries to bounce it, and he'll be smothered for a four-yard loss by Jonathan Cooper and others. Stopped behind the line a single time this year in 71 rushes. That has changed, and now McSorley tries to run it and gets nothing. And they're pushing Penn State's offensive line back. Penn State had done much better in third down this season because McSorley told us they weren't stressing third down, just executing. There's been a lot of stress tonight and a lot of third and longs. And they saw these passes batted down at the line of scrimmage. That was Chase Young getting a hand up. It's going to be complete anyway. And now Gilligan. It's a low boot. And it's going to give a chance for K.J. Hill. It takes it at the 40. Has momentum going forward and returns it for about 13 yards. There is a flag down. And now a, another flag and a scrum. There are two fouls on the play. Holding. Number 13, 10-yard penalty. After the play was over, personal foul. Late hit out of bounds. Number 55 on the kicking team. 15-yard penalty, first down. So don't get from the game. Here's the shot right to the helmet of Hill as he was well out of bounds on the Ohio State bench. So the backup tackle. Got them at defensive front. The Buckeyes start from the 44. And this is Weber who's trying to get going. And Mike Weber... Does truck for a first. The sidelines, Ohio State using some tempo now. Campbell on the edge has blockers. And all of a sudden, this time, Campbell's made five catches. Hasn't yet broken a long one. Weber knocked down. Nice play by Sharif. His team, when a defense is getting after him, to really go up-tempo and get him on their heels. Asking play action. 
Surveying the field, rolling out, and just dumps it at the feet of the receiver. That guy's just one of nine, needs six. Are in field goal range. A.J. Hill now motions out, empty backfield. Penn State brings pressure. Haskins, screen again to Hill, who has blockers. Another good call, beats the blitz, and the Buckeyes are in their red zone. Beating K.J. Hill to the first down. And now Wildcat with Hill, who takes a direct snap, and the Lions swarm him and knock him down for a four. That's a lineman in the inside, you'll see. Looks like the left tackle from Ohio State may have moved there, Mumford. So they convert in that third and six, get into the red zone. Full start, offense, number 75, in front of the mouth. That's a good <laughs> sign for today. Right. Weber, strong run, gets back to the 16 throughout the third quarter. Haskins gets good protection, lost for the end zone, but it's well over the head of K.J. Hill, and fourth down. I think his heel goes, and he drives this one right through from 33. There's a flag down, so hold everything. Personal foul, face mask, offense, number 89, 15-yard penalty, still fourth down. That was Zach McPherson who came around. Yards. Yeah, this is not going to be good. So the personal foul takes the field goal off the board, and Ohio State comes up empty, and the lead is still one. For the Hamler 93-yard catch and run. McSorley incomplete. Threw it into traffic trying to find him. Okay, fans curious to see how Burrow progresses. LSU still playing well. Second and ten, they flip it in the flat, and catches made by Sanders. Works really, really pressed across the across the board here. Jawan Johnson on a crossing route from the bottom. Something to watch. Play clock at three. Sorley was looking that way. Nobody open. Now scrambles and tries to run for it, and will not get it. Caught from behind by Malik Harrison, and linebacker showing and freaky athletic ability. Despite that, yeah. That said, weight. A, said a couple weeks ago, a great high school basketball player. This is Gilligan's best punt. Finally gets one to turn over. Booms it in Hill all the way back to the 10-yard line for a fair catch. Over Q. It's a 94-yard drive for the rocking chair for that young man. Dobbins just plows into heavy traffic on the left side. With Brett Pry and James Franklin come up with. Haskins in play action. A long throw over the head of McLaurin. He's got the arm to get it. Third and nine. Lions gave the look of blitz, Kirk, then back out. Pre-snap chess match. They don't blitz. Haskins has time, and now the time suddenly evaporates. He flips it out to Hill. He makes the catch, but well short of the first down. But then flips the field with three and out. And now Tompkins, the punt returner, tries to set Penn State up in good shape. Chrisman ran an outstanding first half at his goal line. Gets this one up quickly, but it's a low boot. And Tompkins has a chance, although the coverage is excellent. They knock him down right there. Tell me. Oh, okay. If I've been there. <laughs> McSorley has room. Gets a block. And Trace McSorley, a little high step. Suddenly Penn State's motoring again. Run. And the 51-yarder in the first quarter. Play action. McSorley steps up again, looking to run, and will scoot out for a short game tonight to prevent that from happening, but he's still got now. And it's Hammer trying to get the edge. A flag comes in. Isaiah Pryor eventually. In, looks like Fryer Muth, the young tight end who just made the great block on the run by McSorley, was guilty of a hold. Yep, looks like he tangled up with Pete Werner. Holding. Offense. Number 87, 10-yard penalty, still second down. Pressure, 
McSorley lost it downfield for Hamler and well defended and broken up Isaiah Pryor right with the speedy freshman. And this interference, defense number 12, 15 yard penalty. When, when you're beaten like that and your head doesn't get turned around, that's pass, but it gives Penn State a first down at the 33. Here comes an all outlet, so McSorley gets it out, and it was behind Brandon Pope. He had just barely man, he's got to secure the football. Veteran receivers should know the blitz is coming and should look for his quarterback to get the ball out quickly. And McSorley flips it to Sanders in the flat. He cannot make a man miss. Pete Warner shake it. Third and 13. And Penn State not in field goal range. So they try to come up with something shorter to get Pinninger a better chance at a field goal. Look for the middle of the field is where they try to attack here against this man coverage. And they hand it to Sanders. And Sanders bulldozes, makes a cut, is knocked down just short of the marker at the play final minute third quarter. And they flip a pass and it's broken up at the line. Chase Young got off the edge and snuffed it out. In the bucket. Haskins pressured, lost a downfield throw, and it's inaccurate, way over the head of Mack and Welch. As it is, Young's big play preserves the one-point cushion, and now Weber just mauled behind the line. Ohio State, the only touchdown of the third quarter, and headed to the final 15 minutes of this whiteout night and half. Just 27 points combined through three, and now Haskins on third long delivers a low throw, and it's incomplete. Trying to get it to seed for the last two years. Chrisman has pointed beautifully all night, just booms it back, and Tompkins retreats to his 25. And doesn't really get a block on the edge. From the 27. Nick Sorley escapes. And scampers again for another game. He got 12 yards. They almost trapped him, but he got free. Picking up positive yards. Sanders has really been contained tonight. The man will frequently as a runner. Second and eight. McSorley pressured again. He'll be sacked. Tough Borland is at a big night. He's the one that forced the fun. first four games of Penn State has been sacked three times tonight. Third and 13. Ohio State shows pressure again. This time McSorley steps up and locks it for Hammer, who comes back and makes a catch. Slow to get up, but the freshman's made another big impact play. Isaiah Prior came over. Targeting defense number 12. Yeah. Half the distance to the goal. That play is under further review. Is confirmed. Number 12 is disqualified from the game. So Dave, a targeting foul. On Put that ball on a line. First down at the 14. Hamler is being taken to the locker room as McSorley escapes. Grace McSorley barrels into a defender first. And his blue-collar approach to play in that position. Two tight end look. First and goal. And they flip it to the end zone. Jump ball. Touchdown. Friar mute. Pass interference. Defense number 32. And make it a six-point Penn State lead. Six plays, 73 yards for Penn State. McSorley's superb. Out of the stadium, it said, that might be the best college offense I've ever oh, seen man. in my life. They've had a playoff in that year. Here we are, 2018, and I still think 1994 Penn State was one of the best offenses we've ever seen. Well, they, they think it's one of the better teams they've ever had. Oh. Touchdown pass. Lions show late pressure, and it's a reverse, and Campbell has blockers, and makes the edge, so once again, an excellent call against that pressure. Wow. Running away with it, South End. Meanwhile, after the 17-yard gain, nothing for Dobbins on first down. Let's say this. They head to Blacksburg next Saturday night.
Once again, there's really no threat of a quarterback run. They're not sure what linebacker blitz is to get after Haskins. Here they come. Haskins this time steps up and delivers, and Campbell, a crossing route, spun down right near the marker by John Reed. So you get midfield. They need just a few inches. Dobbins spun around. Oh, it's, a, it's a keeper. Excuse me, Haskins fooled me, but not the Penn State defense, and they stop him short. But on third and fourth and short. What a stop for Penn State now. Six-point lead, take over near midfield. And they're thinking aggressively. McSorley steps up and fires a strike across the middle. Catch made by Hippenhammer. Another young guy. A couple of Ohio State starting DBs out of the game. Jeffrey Okuda in, and along with Jason Went at safety for Isaiah Pryor. Okuda in for Arnett. First down, Lions trying to add to a six point lead. And McSorley keeps the ball background. It's a huge sequence for McSorley, though. They're not in field goal range. Three points would be huge for Penn State. McSorley looking for the end zone. Launches it off the fingertips of Jawan Johnson. Johnson, now it's third and ten out of field goal range. Enormously important play. Mike Black sets our field goal target line, and according to him, they need four yards to give Pinnaker a reasonable chance. So McSorley is going to take off. He's going to get that and more. First down. McSorley muscles out inside the 15. Got a block at seven tonight. He handed off to Sanders. There are quarterbacks who are on the left side of the Penn State offensive line on that big third down. Second and eight. Keeper again. McSorley hammers down, stretches. Touchdown. Left elbow touches. And it's down. Keep it going, guys. There it's down, and the ball is short. The runner's elbow was down with the ball inside the one-yard line, at which point it will be Penn State's ball. First. Two tight ends. And Sanders is the back. Wouldn't bet against the keeper. And Sanders, who fights, pushes, and no foot by Sanders. Trying to make the lead 14 with exactly eight minutes to play. Hippenhammer gets the flip, and Ohio State is all over him. Gets for Ohio State to stage a furious rally. They're out down by 15 at home in the fourth quarter last year before turning it around. Feels a lot tougher here tonight. Take a look at the quarterback comparison. <laughs> Weber goes in motion. Haskins flips it short, and the catch is made for a short game. I've seen that since going back to the early part of the third quarter. FD backfield with Weber split far to the left. And second and five, the Lions rush four. Haskins has time in a sideline completion for defense play. They've been very aggressive tonight. Not so in the last couple of plays. Haskins back pedals and delivers a throw down field. He's sliding it up by Garrett Taylor. Or is he the point where he was Pass throwing interference. It. Defense number five. 15-yard penalty from the previous spot. Automatic. Didn't take Ohio State long to threaten. Penn State bringing pressure. Haskins trying to escape. Fires across his body. High. And the catch is made. And Benjamin Victor is still running. Victor cutting back against the grain, heading for the end zone, and will make it in Ohio State still alive. But the big fella, Victor, goes up and makes the play. 47-yard touchdown, just his sixth catch this year. But Sanders make a kick return, and he's going to leave it right there in the end zone. Yeah, that's just it. That's what it is. Cubs first, that's my six. man. All right. McSorley. 
Steps up again, adding to that rushing total. Gets a block and is dragged down. First down out across. Hold your breath when you see him go down. Penn State's moving against an Ohio State secondary that's minus two starters. Arnett left with an apparent shot to the head. Pryor rejected. McSorley, that time they wrap him up, and a flag comes in on the tackle. Chase Young makes a face. face mask. Defense number two. 15-yard penalty from the end of the world. He'd be aggressive, but at the same time, trying to work some clock, running the ball, and quarterbacks a threat running the football. McSorley again steps up, escapes the pocket, and now fires. Was he across the line? There's a flag downfield where Tompkins makes the catch and is stopped at the 10. This is his body at all is behind the line. He's good. There are two fouls on the play. His entire body is across. Watch Tompkins here. Offense. Push Kendall Sheffield. Number three. In addition and to that's that, how he got open. the Penn State quarterback was beyond the line of scrimmage when he threw the ball. That's an illegal forward pass. Five yards from the spot of the pass with a loss of down. Pressure. McSorley escapes again. And powers down inside the 40. They need six. They're not in field goal range. Inside of five minutes to play. Buckeyes are showing pressure. They bring it again. And McSorley steps up again and delivers incomplete. Very good coverage by Sean Wade. It's going to be tough to win the East when you lose a division game like this. The winner, meanwhile, becomes the clear favorite in this division. And this one is a low kick with backspin that bounces at the floor and just stops right there. A seven section. Haskins from the end zone. Flips it short. Bobble initially, but Dobbins has got it. And Dobbins has got room. Cuts back, still running, out to the 40, a huge play. Today. 35 yards to escape the noise of the student section in their own end zone. And now Dobbins bangs forward for seven more. Good push in the from Haskins. And you're sensing anxiety from this Penn State crowd, still trying to help the defense. They show pressure again, and they bring it. And Haskins gets protection and lost it for Mack. That was in between two receivers and Weber bounces it first down and fights inside the Penn State 45 empty backfield four-man rush Campbell in traffic Paris Campbell bounces free and is knocked out at the 30 it's another first down and worn out at the moment all three timeouts got a cushion here with his inside receiver. Four-man rush, protection, and incomplete. Trying to get it to Campbell on a clock. Dobbins, knocked down. It'll be third down. It was JT. Again, slot receiver uncovered. There it is. And they pitch it to Hill. Hill, first down. Still running. Touchdown, Ohio State. And this is important to make it a three-point cushion. A big-time assist there with those play calls on that drive. And now another whistle before the snap. Haskins from the pocket delivers incomplete. He's trying to get it to McLaurin. Coverage here is, is the kick returner. Rarely do the Buckeyes allow picks to be run back and this one is driven deep into the end zone he doesn't have KJ Hamlin to work with it's like about the the shot to the head that he took the one that resulted in targeting and he has not been in the game McSorley fires down the seam and the catch is made by the tight end we're to try to separate him from the football huge play plenty of time and all three timeouts McSorley hesitated and that time he'll be dropped and they got him by the face mask again same. Play comes in. Play yeah. for a face mask. It's second down. The way his head moved. Second and 14. McSorley launches downfield. Hope. Incomplete. Pass was. Early. 
He certainly needs some magic here. Two plays to get 14 yards. This is where his scramble has been effective for Penn State. Malik Harrison, who's sometimes spied him, is right there, but shows blitz from the outside. Now they show pressure up the middle, and McSorley still got the football. Makes a cut, and dives down short of the marker. It'll beat us here. Nittany Lions need five. And Ohio State spends a defensive. Sanders is the back. Penn State getting a look at Ohio State's defense, making their adjustments based on that man-to-man -man look for the Buckeyes. And now James, but he scrambles to throw is always a, a dangerous play for Penn State. Different look now off the timeout. Three receivers to the left. Ball game right here. And now Malik Harrison is right here in the middle where you would think he is spying. Got to hurry. Just get it off. Sanders, smother. Chase Young, another big play. Ohio State makes a stop and takes over. What Ohio State wanted, I have to be honest, I am shocked by the play call. After a couple timeouts, meetings on the sideline, I really thought you put the ball in the hands of Trey Game. Just 43 yards, and Ohio State's defense makes a stop. They were reeling early. They answered to take the lead. Penn State threw shots and got the lead back. Double digit lead midway fourth quarter. But Haskins and the Buck Hackenberg's school record. Wow. He won't care about that. It'll be his first loss at home as a Penn State starter. It's easy for anybody to second guess play calling. You and I. I think you have to, though. We, you, you and I rarely do that. But I, but I will say that I. I Hold it in slow motion, timeout after timeout, won by the Ohio State staff as Young made that stunt that she pointed out. And you're not the only one that's going to question that play call. Ohio State comes to Happy Valley and comes from behind to win by one. And they are going to be huge favorites now in their next four games. They're going to be 9-0 heading to Michigan State, barring a major shock. This one will sting for McSorley. He won't question the play call, no doubt. But you wonder if he has to be thinking...